Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosque's Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Obi-Wan Kenobi Droid Factory 4-pack which contains R3-T2, Ned B, a Viper Probe Droid and one Jack. Now all of these are supposedly from Obi-Wan Kenobi because it's an Obi-Wan Kenobi 4-pack. Let's have a look at the packaging very quickly. So there we go. You can see them all lined up in that packaging and there's an image there of Obi-Wan and Vader fighting behind them, I do believe. You can just see that. We'll see that a little bit better when we open up the packaging. On the back there, you can see some film outs of each character. All the droids there. And there's a little bit of a write up there. Now this is a Disney release. I don't think it has anything to do with Hasbro as far as I'm aware. Now the main reason that I have bought this is for the Ned B figure essentially. I don't think we're going to be getting that one in the vintage collection anytime soon, which is a big shame. He is also available in the retro collection with uh, less articulation and less detail. So this is probably the best 3.75 inch Ned B that you're going to be able to get until they do him in the vintage collection. So that's primarily why I've got this set, but I want to look at the other figures as well. So with all that being said, let's just get straight into it and open up the packaging. So ever so quickly, there is the back of the packaging there with the image, as I said, with Darth Vader fighting Obi-Wan. So that's what the packaging is like. There you go. Okay then, so here they are out of the packaging, all four droids standing there for you, nice and close up. And we're going to start off with R3-T2. Now, I understand that this has made quite a few people pretty happy that this droid has been included in this set because this is the first time that we've got a screen accurate version of R3-T2. Now, the reason it's made people happy is because not only was he featured in the Obi-Wan series, but he was also in A New Hope. I think he was in the extended editions when they're flying through Tatooine, I think. Um, there he is with the red dome on the head. Pretty much an R2-D2 body, but he has that red dome. And, you know, this is a droid factory uh, astromech. So the head spins, the legs will remove, and the center leg will remove as well. But that is about it. You don't have any secret compartments or anything like that. Fairly basic droid, but he looks pretty decent. I think the uh, size of him is pretty much accurate as well. So as I say, this one's made a lot of people very happy that he was included. Now, for me... The most important droid in here is Ned B, as I mentioned earlier, and this one is quite different to the retro collection version in terms of he has more articulation. So he only has the swivel hips, but he does have knee joints. He even has ankle joints as well, as you can see there. He has elbow joints and he has the shoulders on the swivel as well. The head does go from left to right as well, but it's the detail of this guy. He does look pretty good. I would imagine that if he was in the vintage collection, he would be a little bit more detailed. Maybe they would have a bit more weathering on him and things like that. And the actual sculpt would be a lot better as well. But for the time being, as I mentioned before, this is the, you know, the only way that you're going to get a 3.75 inch Ned B with this amount of detail and articulation. You can see he's got his blue hand there. We turn him around and he's got all the markings. So he's pretty good, as I said. You know, a bit of articulation there. He swivels at the, at the waist as well. And that's almost like a little ball as well. So, you know, Hasbro really need to get their finger out and uh, give us a Ned B in the vintage collection. I want him on that card back that the retro collection has. But he looks pretty good. Next up, we have the Viper probe droid. Now, this probe droid is a smaller probe droid than we've got in the past in other lines, in Hasbro lines and things like that. But it's a great sculpt. You can see all the detailing there on the eyes and his antennas and everything. And all of these parts are articulated, as you'd expect, in multiple locations. So you can see them moving around all over the place. And each arm does the sort of same. It has, you know, two points of articulation on each one but it really is the detail on this guy I'm quite liking it I think it is a smaller uh, probe droid than we've seen in previous media I think the Viper probe droid might be a smaller one so that's the Viper probe droid you can see he's got some nice paint detailing bits of red and everything and the the, you know, the overall sculpt is is very nice the head also moves around as well and you get that clear stand for him which is pretty cool and finally, we have one Jack, which is basically the same sort of droid as Forlom, 
except he has that bandolier going on there. Now this figure for me is the most disappointing figure out of all of them. This is the worst one for sure. And the reason for that is that I can't understand why they didn't use the sculpt of the Forlom from the Droid Depot line from the Disney parks. I really just can't get my head around it. I mean, it is a far superior sculpt. I absolutely love this figure. I think it is the most accurate Forlom that we have. And when you compare the two, if we can just make it focus, even the head is far superior on the Forlom compared to the One Jack. Um, I'm not really too sure what they've done there, why they didn't use it. He seems to have a wider head on that one. So that's your fall on. So we're left with this one and there's lots of things wrong with this figure that we're gonna get into in a second. But of course, as I said, the head should be a bit wider in my opinion. I do like the green eyes. And in terms of articulation, they have given you a little bit of articulation. He has, you know, swivel at the shoulders. He does have a hinge at the elbow, which is actually quite difficult to move, but he does have that. He has swivel wrists. He has a little ball on the torso there, swivel hips, he does have knees, and he does have a little joint, a little hinge at the ankle as well. Again, quite difficult to move. But for me, stand out, the worst thing about this particular figure is the blasters. They're attached to his leg, and the hands are not designed to hold them. So you can't actually take those off, which is so bizarre, which is a bit weird really, because I, I'm pretty sure I saw an image of him holding them but as far as I'm aware these are molded onto the legs they're attached to the legs you can't take them off and even if you could you wouldn't be able to put them in the hands which is just a major disappointment for me and this was the thing that was putting me off of this set when I first saw it announced I thought it looked a little bit cheap and I think that comes from this droid here I think they've really copped out on that one I think they could have done a much better job with that one jack figure you know having the weapons there attached to the leg that is just just bizarre for me but as i said the main reason that i've bought this set is for these two here it's a great new astromech to have as i said it's going to make a lot of people very happy that they've finally got a r3 t2 and for me you know the standout figure star of the show is most definitely ned b and you know this is the best we're going to be getting in 3.75 inch until the vintage collection decide or hasbro decide to give us that figure in the vintage collection it is a massive improvement on the retro collection of course it is slightly different because the retro collection is supposed to be designed as Kenner would do them this one has a more sort of modern feel to it of course it has various joints on the knees on the ankles and on the elbows and on the torso whereas the version in the retro collection I think only the arms and legs move I'm not even too sure if the head moves I do apologize I do not have that one to compare it to I haven't opened my version of that one I have no desire to really have those figures loose but these ones are half there basically you know they're pretty good this one absolutely is the worst of the lot for many reasons that i've discussed and for me the best one is ned b but for me this set overall isn't as good as the one that they did for the mandalorian where you get that gondola droid from the end of season one plus you got the security droid and two other astromechs as well so this set for me isn't as good as that but you know if you want ned b and you want this astromech then you're going to have to get this set now let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you wanted to buy this set, it is available from Shop Disney in the UK. I believe it's gonna be available in Shop Disney in the US very, very soon. But if you wanted to buy this set, then there is a link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you to my channel members and Patreon supporters. Your support is very much appreciated. So thank you all for watching guys, and we shall see you on the next one.